Roxette's lead singer Marie Fredrickson has died. She was 61. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. She was the voice of a lot of hits from the 1980s and 90s and passed away after a long illness yesterday. Her family released the following statement to a newspaper in her native Sweden. It is with great sadness that we have to announce that one of our biggest and most beloved artists is gone. In September of 2002, Fredrickson fell in her bathroom and fractured her skull. After an MRI, they found she had a brain tumor. At the time, she was given a 25% chance to live. She did survive after radiation, but suffered major side effects, which caused her to eventually retire in 2016. In the late 1970s, Fred Rickson met Per Gisla. Both had had success with their individual projects, but it wasn't until 1986 when they formed Roxette that, well, the world got to know them. They would go on to become the second most successful band from Sweden after ABBA, a band they were compared to through the years. They had worldwide success from the late 1980s until the mid-1990s, with hits like The Look from 1989, that was their first tune on the U.S. charts and went on to number one. That same year, Listen to Your Heart also hit number one, with Dangerous peaking at number two. Their most memorable song, however, came via the Pretty Woman soundtrack, It Must Have Been Love, from 1990. It's still their most played tune. It was a huge number one hit all over the world. They had many others after that, like Joyride and Fading Like a Flower. In a statement, Gessler said, Time goes by so fast. It feels like just recently when Marie and I were sitting in my little apartment sharing dreams. And what a fantastic dream we got to share. Thank you, Marie. You were truly a unique musician, a singer on a level we will hardly ever experience again. You painted my black and white songs with the most beautiful colors. Roxette did have success in Sweden before they broke out worldwide. They had actually six hits. But then an exchange student came to Minneapolis and walked up to a radio station and gave the radio guy their second album. Everything exploded after that. After all the medical problems, Fred Rickson and Gessler reformed Roxette after she went on stage to see his solo show. Gessler told The Guardian in 2012 about that 2009 show. She staggered on stage, he says, and the audience just died. People were crying to the left and right after she was like a changed person. Two weeks later, she called me up asking if I'd like to write another Roxette album. They would go on to write three more, with Good Karma being their last in 2016. Roxette were one of those bands that, back then, if you didn't like them, you were still hearing them an awful lot. And with that partnership with Pretty Woman, I mean, if you look at Spotify right now, It Must Have Been Love is still their most streamed song. No surprise. What an incredible singer. Another one of the great ones gone. If you've seen the band in concert, if you ever met her, met the band, saw the band, bought the band, share your comments. We'd appreciate them. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rocky Stream Music. Thank you.